On the other end, Greenville will need to control the midfield and create good chances. And we will see what these two teams can get going here tonight. There is the whistle, and away we go tonight. Already some goals around the Open Cup tonight. As Miami United has taken a 1-0 lead over Club de Leon. That game already in the second half after kicking off at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, and a giveaway at the back. It's Anderson who tries to square it in front. Zakowski, it's saved. Garibe keeps it out, but the second chance is in. Liam McKinnon scores for Greenville. And the triumph open the scoring tonight. Ball's never quite under control. And Greenville does well to punish. Mikalski probably wants that one back, but off the volley, it's such a clean finish here. Inshuti was looking in the middle. It's a penalty! The referee points to the spot. Seemed a bit harsh. Brandon Fricky complaining, and we'll see it again here. Very harsh. Very harsh. With his back turned toward him. Might have hit off his hand, might have not, but it's towards his body, so it's tough. And you can see exactly what Fricky is doing, and the referee saying no, it was out on the side. Oh, that is so harsh. But now, a chance for Knoxville to get right back in this game. What an opportunity here for the home side. This will be their first penalty of the season. This is such a mental moment for both sides. After a goal scored, both teams' emotions get heightened, and there's often another chance or another big chance for either side. And here we are with the penalty. Kempis Tequila, 26-year-old from Germany. He strides up, and it's into the corner. The immediate response from one Knoxville, and we're back level. It's 1-1. Knoxville still wanting and to play again, out of the back. It's turned over. It's Sikowski, and it's just out of play. And they got a game plan. They're sticking to it, but Greenville is disrupting it. O'Hearn. Good play there by Corvino to spring Greenville forward. Advantage being played. Smith, the cross coming in. Chested down and it will be cleared. Knoxville will get this away. And turned over, Corvino through the middle. Maybe a chance to hit this from distance. Castro comes right for McKinnon. He won't miss from there. His second goal on the night and Greenville regain the lead at 2-1. Get rewarded for the pressure again. So far they've just controlled the midfield and have punished Knoxville's sloppy play. this into a good area the header is on target it backs up Rankenberg onto his goal line but he makes the save great ball there and Shachi does well to rise up and win the header there's not enough power on it four yellow cards for Greenville two for Knoxville Smith. Who plays it ahead for Smith once again? They're throwing out of it. Out lead. Physical there with McKinnon, but now it's turned over again. Zakowski. Guiano, Vino. Rick Wright was very pleased about what Pascal Corvino was able to do in the last game against Lexington. A 
first year player out of Missouri State. And to play this through, it's Liam McKinnon! Chest wide. Tequila. And that is the last touch of the first half. Greenville can't take their foot off the pedal. Now's not the time to relax or switch their game plan. Knoxville, on the other hand, should. They'll be more dangerous if they start to play more direct. His third season with Knoxville has been with this club since the beginning. The Englishman who played three years with the Des Moines Menace. You haven't heard, they have a game tonight against Union Omaha. And all the players you thought would be in the lineup are in the lineup. Except Sasha Kleshton, Roger Espinosa. AJ De La Garza, Brian Rowe in goal, Tesha Akindele. Should be a fun one against Union Omaha starting here in about 20 minutes. A shot taken, and Rankenberg, all he can do is just push this away. A really good effort from distance, but I like there's a counter press they have. As soon as they lose it, they go back and try to get it back. Inshuti, Inshuti, it took a deflection, out for a corner kick. The pressure ramping up here from one Knoxville. It's Thomas coming over to take it. There was a whistle before that corner kick was taken. And they'll do this corner kick again. And again, Rankenberg punches it away. Matchell just wide. Good effort there from Matchell at the top of the area. The second chances are dangerous. Oftentimes teams are always prepared and practice for the first one. The second one oftentimes leads to goals. Here's Skelton. Skelton is just able to stop that ball on the far touch line. Down the line, cross comes in. A chance to maybe put this towards goal, and there's the equalizer. Knoxville have fought back into it, and it's a brace for Tequila. Another shot and another goal, it's 2-2. Have come back to equalize. In shooty, cuts it in. In shooty, it's saved. On the turn, hopping over one challenge. Calixtro, another save for Gunther Rankenberg. Those are starting to rack up now. You just turn your focus back to the league. Trying to play this ahead, Scarlet on the turn! And his shot is in the side netting. Here comes Greenville. Castro going down, it's a penalty! Greenville will go to the spot. A big point in this game, and Greenville can retake the lead. It's good one-on-one -on -one attacking here. He does well as he gets a halt, he cuts it back, and it's just, it's unnecessary there. He's going away from goal, it's just unnecessary. Vanderplum came in a bit clumsily there, and now a chance for Greenville to take the lead. Big moment here. And 
and who will it be? We've seen this all across the world. There's some guy that usually holds the ball and then another player comes over. Well, nobody's really messing with the spot or anything right now. You need some Bulldogs in there just to protect the spot. Oftentimes players like to get involved, hang around the spot, maybe scuff it up a little, raise the turf. And this will be the center back, Brandon Fricky. His fifth season with Greenville. A rock at the back for the triumph. And now a chance to give Greenville the lead late on in this second round. Fricky strides up and saved! Johan Garibe! It's a well taken PK, but such a great save. And at that height, when it's just a little bit off. Slicing through, looking to play it through the middle. It's still available. That's off the post. Knoxville denied by the woodwork. Post, you're killing me, Smalls. He's done so well all night attacking, just being aggressive. They do well to get it out to him. And off the post is so devastating for them. Here's Richie. In Shooty. Castro. He wants to have a hit. And it's out of play. Two minutes to go. He does so well. Just to take the space, but it's going to be a worldie from that distance. He's going to take more than that and a better shot to make something happen from there. Just about the final minute. Crowd urging the home side on. Trying to get into the box. The cross comes in. The header is over the bar. A minute to go. And Shooty's had a couple of good chances here. out of play there was one extra time game or pardon me two extra time games yesterday but one involving the usl league one club charlotte going all the way to penalties taking out south carolina united heat it was michigan stars taking out minnesota united two last night one last chance here for greenville and anderson's coming over for a long throw this will surely be the last action Anderson, the long throw, putting it into a good area. It's not cleared. Gabo, touched away, and that will end the 90 minutes. We need 30 minutes more, and it's happy to have you with us. And here we go, extra time underway. Play this into space. Innocent in shooty. In shooty towards the top of the area. First time effort saved. There will be one minute of stoppage time at the end of his first period of extra time. Still 15 more minutes to come after. A few minutes of a break in between these periods. 
deflected out of play and a corner kick on the way coming for Knoxville. Important moment here. In swinger coming for Knoxville. Going to take the first lead of this game. It was deflected as it came in. The header looping towards goal. Rankenberg is there to hold on to it. That pretty much should take us to halftime of extra time. And indeed, it will. So 15 minutes in the books here in extra time. And still, we are tied at two. Zakowski and Polak standing over it. Zikowski puts it into a good area. The clearing header as far as Evan Lee blocked down. And is there a chance to counter? Castro will lead the break for Knoxville. Racing back the other way. Richie feeling some contact and now it's Pollock. 106 minutes and we go back and forth. Castro now for Greenville, cutting it in. Laying it off, Herrera scores! Back and forth, but Greenville have retaken the lead. Their third lead of the night, it's 3-2. Like a tennis match there, back and forth. And these guys are giving it all. Thomas moves it out wide. Stuart Ritchie, the cross, curling it in, the header is saved! Kempis Tequila looking for a hat trick. Corner kick, Knoxville. You can feel it coming there. Knoxville's probing, they do well to get it out wide and it's such a great ball in. The header is good as well. In those moments, you try to keep it low, you're taught to keep it low into the ground because it's tough for the keeper to save. Be an in-swinging ball. Rankenberg punches it away. Zakowski prevents a throw-in. Castro on the turn. Trying to get a ball upfield into a dangerous area. Didn't quite work out there. And to play this in behind. Can they find a goal that could put this away? Scarlett will take it to the corner. Playing this through, it's Herrera on wide. What a chance to really put this one away for Chapa Herrera. Would have been his second goal since coming on in extra time. Gotta be better than just keep it on target. Like we said, or we've said all the time, you can't score if you don't put it on target. In that moment, you just want to see a little bit more composure and for him to slot it away and the game. And the whistle comes and is offside. Through the middle. Augli. Benton and now Ballard. The cross in the middle. The flick is just wide. Kemp is tequila so close again. The 125th minute, and that is it. Greenville has persevered. And the triumph are moving on. It's the end of the road in the Open Cup for one Knoxville.